PK in the universe and I am back again with another video. Thought I'd uh, shoot this video in my car. Um, anyways, I uh, just wanted to talk quickly about the new announced Atari 2600 Plus from Atari. Atari is bringing back the original Atari, but with a twist. This uses HDMI. It can play original Atari 2600 cartridges as well as Atari 7800 cartridges, which is pretty darn cool. It is not FPGA, unfortunately. It's a chip on a board with, you know, obviously a cartridge slot, but pretty cool. They're remaking the original controllers. There's also a bundle that actually contains a bunch of paddle controllers with a four-in-one game, and the Atari 2600 Plus, of course, comes with a 10-in-1 cartridge. It has games like Adventure, Haunted House, etc. A bunch of, you know, fan favorites that everybody enjoys. I particularly... I'm actually kind of interested in that pack that has the paddle in it, actually, the paddle controllers. That's pretty cool, actually. It's like 40 bucks though. Oh, yeah, and the Atari 2600 Plus is $130, but it does come with a packing game that has 10 games, which is pretty interesting. It's funny enough, too, I mentioned, uh, you know, Atari possibly coming out with an Evercade competitor, you know, is kind of like a long shot there in my last video. And it's about the same price as an Evercade VS is, but an Evercade VS, of course, has more games, you know. So it's pretty interesting. I don't know. Is $130 too much for this? Possibly. I'll be really curious to what the compatibility is. I know for sure there's three games so far we know about that are not compatible. And those games are Super Cobra and uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and I don't know what other one was. There was one other one, I totally forgot what it was. Sound off in the comments if you know. There's also a bunch of untested games, you know, like, uh, what was it, Fatal Run, I think, is was untested. It was one of the games I saw. So, it looks like there's a lot of unknowns with this. Could this be a Retron 77 killer? In some ways, yes, because it plays 7,800 games, but I'm wondering what the compatibility is going to be on that, so... Yeah, overall, I think it's a pretty interesting announcement, and I think it's a good idea. You know, at the end of the day, Atari is actively selling cartridges now, so it makes a lot of sense that they would sell it on a system that you can actually play it on, you know, and instead of relying on 50-year-old technology. Plus, the other thing to consider, too, is the fact that, you know, a lot of people don't have CRT TVs. And guess what, folks? I'm going to talk about CRT TVs in the next video, so... If you don't want to miss that video, uh, come check it out. It's going to be coming up really soon here, so stay tuned. Anyways, what are your guys' thoughts? What's your favorite Atari game? Comment below. Love to hear what you have to say. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and stay awesome in this universe. Thanks.